Unit 5, Lesson 13, Dividing Decimals by Decimals. Number 1. A student said, To find the value of 109 and 2 tenths divided by 6, I can divide 1092 by 60. A. Do you agree with this statement? Explain your reasoning. Yes, I agree, because the student made both the dividend and the divisor 10 times larger. B. Calculate the quotient of 109 and 2 tenths divided by 6 using any method of your choice. 109 and 2 tenths divided by 6 is the same as 1092 divided by 60 when you make the divisor and the dividend 10 times bigger. How many times does 60 go into 109? It goes in one time. Above the tens place, I put a 1. 1 times 60 is 60 and the difference is 49. Bring down the two and the ones column. How many times does 60 go into 492? It goes in eight times. Above the two and the ones place, I put the eight. Eight times 60 is 480, and the difference is 12. I make sure I put my decimal point in, and I bring a zero down in the tenths column. How many times does 60 go into 120? It goes in twice. Two times 60 is 120, and the difference is zero. The answer is 18 and 2 tenths. 109 and 2 tenths divided by 6 is 18 and 2 tenths, and 1092 divided by 60 is also 18 and 2 tenths. Number 2. Here is how Han found 31 and 59 hundredths divided by 13. A. At the second step, Han subtracts 52 from 55. How do you know that these numbers represent tenths? I know that those numbers represent tenths because the 52 ends in the tenth column. B. At the third step, Han subtracts 39 from 39. How do you know that these numbers represent hundredths? Again, I know that they represent hundredths because they end in the hundredths column. C. Check that Han's answer is correct by calculating the product of 2 and 43 hundredths and 13. So product means multiply. So there's many different ways to multiply. One example is 2 and 43 hundredths times 13 can be broken down to 2 and 43 hundredths times 10 plus 2 and 43 hundredths times 3. 24 and 3 tenths plus 7 and 29 hundredths is 31 and 59 hundredths, so Han is correct. I also left another example of how you could multiply the same problem. Number 3. A. Write two division expressions that have the same value as 61 and 12 hundredths divided by 3 and 2 tenths. One example would be 611 and 2 tenths divided by 32 and 6,112 divided by 320. B. Find the value of 61 and 12 hundredths divided by 3 and 2 tenths. I decided to make both the divisor and the dividend 100 times bigger. 6,112 divided by 320. How many times does 320 go into 611? It goes in once. 1 times 320 is 320, and the difference is 291. And I bring down the 2 in the 1's column. How many times does 320 go into 2,912? 9 times 320 is 2,880, and the difference is 32. I make sure I put my decimal point, and I bring down a 0 in the 10th's column. How many times does 320 go into 320? exactly one time. So in the tenths place on the top, I put a one. One times 320 is 320, and the difference is zero. 6,112 divided by 320 is 19 and one tenth. Number four, a bag of pennies weighs five and one tenth kilogram. Each penny weighs two and five tenths grams. About how many pennies are in the bag? There are a thousand grams in one kilogram. The bag weighs 5 and 1 tenth kilogram or 5,100 grams. So 5,100 divided by 2 and 5 tenths equals 2,040. 
There are about 2,000 pennies in the bag, so I chose C. Number five, find each difference. If you get stuck, consider drawing a diagram. A, two and five tenths minus one and six tenths. Two and five tenths minus one and six tenths equals nine tenths. B, 72 hundredths minus four tenths. 72 hundredths minus four tenths or 40 hundredths equals 32 hundredths. C, 11 and 3 tenths minus 1 and 75 hundredths. So 11 and 3 tenths is the same as 11 and 30 hundredths. So 11 and 30 hundredths minus 1 and 75 hundredths equals 9 and 55 hundredths. D, 73 minus 1 and 3 tenths. 73 and 0 tenths minus 1 and 3 tenths equals 71 and 7 tenths. Number 6. Plant B is 6 and 2 thirds inches tall. Plant C is 4 and 4 fifteenths inches tall. Complete the sentences and show your reasoning. A. Plant C is 6 twenty fifths times as tall as plant B. And my reasoning is plant C divided by plant B or four and four fifteenths divided by six and two thirds, which is the same as 64 fifteenths divided by 20 thirds. To solve that, you would multiply by the reciprocal of 20 thirds. So 64 fifteenths times three twentieths. And that can be simplified to 16 fifths times one fifth and 16 fifths times 1 fifth equals 16 20 fifths. So plant C is 16 20 fifths times as tall as plant B. B. Plant C is 2 and 2 fifths inches shorter than plant B. And my reasoning is the taller plant minus the shorter plant. 6 and 2 thirds minus 4 and 4 fifteenths can be written as 20 thirds minus 64 fifteenths. To subtract, I'm going to need a common denominator. So I'm going to turn the 3 into a 15 by multiplying it by 5. I also have to multiply the 20 by 5, and that gives me 100. So 100 fifteenths minus 64 fifteenths equals 36 fifteenths, or 2 and 6 fifteenths, which is 2 and 2 fifths. So plant C is two and two fifths inches shorter than plant B. Number seven, at a school, 460 of the students walk to school. A, the number of students who take public transit is 20% of the number of students who walk. How many students take public transit? I like dealing with 20% because 20% is 10% plus 10% and it's really easy finding 10% of a number. 10% of 460 is 46. So 20% is 46 plus 46, which is 92. So 20% of 460 is 92. So 92 students are taking public transit to school. B. The number of students who bike to school is 5% of the number of students who walk. How many students bike to school? I like working with 5% because 5% is exactly half of 10%, and 10% is very easy to find. So 10% is 92, and they take public transit. So 5% would be half of 10%, or half of 92. 5% of 460 is 46. 46 students bike to school. C. The number of students who ride the school bus is 110% of the number of students who walk. How many students ride the school bus? 110% is 100% plus 10%. Well, it's really easy to find 100% of a number, and it's easy to find 10% of a number. 110% is 460 
plus 46, because 460 represents the 100% of students who walk to school, and 46 represents 10% of the students who walk to school. So 460 plus 46 equals 506. 110% equals 506. The number of students who ride the school bus is 506. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 12, Dividing Decimals by Decimals. Music